What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And it has been a long time since we have taken on Galactus. And the reason being is, ever since we've all been getting some Pierce on our accounts, Galactus has pretty much just become a joke. Uh, lots of characters can now one-shot Galactus, uh, pretty much melt them into absolutely nothing in no time. So whenever you make a video about this guy, it's pretty much whoosh, dead. Right, it's a pretty short video if you're just going to be doing uh, character showcases against this guy. And we're going to showcase a few characters today. I'm not all of them. There's actually quite a few of them that can do it, especially, again, if you have Pierce on your account. But before we go into any more of Galactus, I want to kind of rant a little bit and talk about something that should be addressed. So initially, I was actually going to do another video today where I was going to select venom to be tier three and i was going to do that by using this tier three selector from this pack that you actually get in the shop that you buy for thirty dollars and you buy it three times after the third time you got this countdown for the tier two selector and for the tier three selector you got a countdown for both of them once you get to the tier three selector you can choose certain tier three characters and this was available for me I have bought this three times and it was available for me and I thought, you know, okay, I'll just wait a day or two and then I'll go ahead and select my character because I had other videos planned because of the sneak peeks and yeah, my tier three selector was gone. After two days, it was gone and this is something that irks me quite a bit. You know, I spent $90 and I'm sure a lot of you may have done the same mistake that I did where... You spent the money, you got the tier three selector, and then you waited a little bit because you weren't sure maybe who you wanted to tier three, and then it was just gone. And I think that's a load of crap. I think once that selector is available, you should be able to collect a selector and put it in your inventory. Maybe for only a week, like the bio selectors that you get from Shadowland, even if it was just for a week, that would be a lot better than this system in place because this here, two days, is a bunch of crap. You might not know which tier three character, which character you want to tier three, right? You might not. Now, my situation is a little different because I was a content creator and I was just kind of waiting. I wasn't sure if I was going to do Venom. Maybe I was going to do someone else. I had also the choice of Professor X, but I was kind of leaning towards Venom, but I was kind of waiting, you know, and yeah, pretty much screwed myself and lost that selector because I waited. So if any of you are buying this pack, right? Make sure whenever that selector is available to go ahead and choose your character immediately or make sure you know what character you're going to choose before you ever start buying these packs so you're prepared to get that character. Uh, I really was very upset and, you know, and I'm partially to blame. I should have just went ahead and picked the tier three character immediately, but I didn't know there was a two day waiting period on this. I didn't know that after two days, it was just going to disappear. Let me know in the comments if any of you, this has happened to you as well i've actually gotten quite a few complaints about this pack and i think maybe it's because people some people think that you just buy it once and then you get the the countdown starts counting for the tier three selector and you're going to get the tier three character no you got to buy it three times and then you'll get the tier three selector but just make sure that you choose that character immediately once that selector is available now on to a little bit brighter note, and that is the one shot. So I'm going to highlight just a few characters or a few, quite a few characters on the one shots. There's actually a lot that are available to be able to do this, especially if you start having Pierce on your cards. I mean, I have 11% Pierce, and then I do have like 87% physical attack, and I have over 100% energy attack, and I have a physical and energy attack proc on top of those. So lots of extra attack. Quite a bit of Pierce, not as much as some other players, not as much as some of my uh, Alliance members or some other players out there. I mean, there's players, obviously, they got over 20% Pierce, but it is a lot, right? It is quite a bit. And we're going to go ahead and turn the music off here. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and show this first little video. Now, all these were pre-recorded from the live stream that I did last night, and some people always ask me, why is it that I don't really do GBR videos that more, anymore? And that's because of the one-shots. Because anytime you try to highlight a character, just, Galactus is just dead. You know, he's just dead in, in seconds. So it's kind of a short video. 
So I thought, you know, putting all these together would be a lot better. So we'll start off, we're going to start off with Moonstone. And this is kind of wacky, watching myself Oh, here. well, good to see you back, Harry. Come on, uh, man, let's do this one shot. Let's kick some butt. Here we go. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> freaking crazy. Now that's Moonstone for you, right? And Moonstone really is freaking insane, right? She's insane for one shot. She's actually insane right now in Danger Room against Magneto also. She's the number one character for these one shots. And that's really mainly due to the way she plays. I mean, she gets all these buffs. All at once, her damage accumulation, her big attack buff, the heal, the more attack buff, the awakened skill that can be canceled immediately. You get all of these at once, and that's why she's so good. I mean, she might have been replaced in ABX with Mephisto, but she's still the one-shot freaking queen. And if we move on a little bit here, we'll go to the next round. You can see that we're going to be using Null. I'm going to go ahead and find Null here real quick. Bring up my universal types. And Null actually surprised me quite a bit. I really didn't know if I could do a one-shot with Null. Even though Null does have a 5% pierce and all this extra chain hit damage from his passive, right? But the thing about him is, you know, when you play with a proc, it's like, you know, 5, cancel on the 4, into the 2. Or 4, cancel on the 5, into the 2. And put the proc on the second skill. Sometimes the proc misses, so he's, he's, sometimes he can be a little inconsistent. And by the way, all these teams that I'm showing you, we all use the same characters. So the first round was all of us using Moonstone. This round here, we're use, all using Null. So that's actually kind of cool, and that's another reason I wanted to show this. So let's watch this here. You guys can check this out. This. With a proc, oh, yeah. uh, Null doesn't, he's not like Moonstone and these other characters. Nice. This really did surprise me quite a bit. Now, you know, my uh, Alliance member here, he's got like, I think 16% uh, Pierce on his account. That makes a big difference on top of the 5% Pierce from Null, and then we're all doing damage all at the same time. But that really surprised me uh, to see that. Uh, Null really, really impressed me. I thought, wow, amazing, right? So now let's move on to the, the next run here, which is Ghost Rider. And Ghost Rider, let's put on Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, again, surprised me. Now, I want you guys to notice something here about my Ghost Rider. I have no obelisk on him. I forgot when I did this run, uh, in GBR that I actually took this obelisk off and was testing it on another character. I'm going to put it back on him, obviously. But yeah, and that's what makes this this clear even that much more impressive. So I'll put this back up here. And I didn't even know it whenever I did this run. You'll see that here in a little bit. What the hell? Yeah, hey. where's this prop? My ghost rider didn't even have a prop on him. Yeah, so you can see that I noticed immediately that I didn't have an obelisk on my ghost rider because there was no, the prop wasn't showing up in the top left hand corner of the screen. And you know, ghost rider really is a god. I mean, really, thanks to all these buffs, right? The increase by 250% for one attack on that third skill. The extra attack buff on the fifth skill. I mean, the guy's just got an insane amount of power. Just crazy. And then on top of his passive, the increased damage dealt to supervillains by 120% on top of that third skill. It's just crazy what this character is capable of. And if we move on a little bit further... We're going to be using Cable, right? And Cable is actually quite interesting. So let's go ahead and watch this. Oh, yeah. Get it done, my friend. Nice. 
And I do have a beatdown proc on my cable. Let's go ahead and remove the screen here a little bit. I do have a beatdown proc on my cable. So we can find them real quick. Universal blast. There we go. I mean, I do have a beatdown proc, and I did have that built up, so I was getting that extra pierce. But I'm telling you, once you get a certain amount of pierce on your account, cable can easily do one shots. And you just and here I'll show you something really quick here before I go any further. And you don't need the summer days uniform, guys. As you'll see, Kid Cable here is the one that actually came out on top. But Cable's just nuts. I mean, he does all that chain hit damage. He does tons and tons of hits all at once. And all that chain hit just synergizes with Pierce, right? So, I mean, Galactus, he really just becomes easier and easier and easier to defeat. Let's go on to the next run here. So now we're going to be using Human Torch. Now check this out, man. And Human Torch really did get an Come on, Human Torch. Let's do it. Rework. Nice. Bye bye, bars. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, like I just said, nice. Human Torch is crazy, crazy powerful, right? And they they made him powerful by giving him this damn 100% attack proc on his force skill by giving him the, well, I mean, he just gets all that residual damage from the fifth skill, but then he gets a 100% increase of energy attack for six seconds on his third skill on top of using all these buffs, the accumulation from the Awakened skill. And the accumulation has a 1.2% all attack buff. Just insane, right? Human Torch really is like one of my go-tos in Danger Room and GBR for one-shots. The guy's absolutely nutty. So let's go on to the next character. And then finally, we're going to have Sharon Rogers. Let me back that up a little bit. So finally, we're going to have Sharon Rogers. Now check this out. And Sharon Rogers is actually quite interesting because you actually need to take damage from her. So I sit in the pocket, I get hit, and... <laughs> get a little Hell excited. yeah, man! Woo! Ah! Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was getting pretty excited. But you can see I did actually win that match with my Sharon Rogers. And even though, let's turn the opacity down here. Even though my Sharon Rogers does have a beatdown proc on the CTP of energy, I wasn't using it in the run you guys just saw. I wasn't running around. I didn't have the proc built up. And all I did was just run up and hit that third skill, right? Let Galactus slam his hand down on me. Then I hit the five and go into the four. All I had to use was the damage accumulation from the third skill along with the five and the four, the buff from the five, and then going to the fourth skill. That's it. And I was able to win out even with 11% pierce. I mean, Sharon's freaking awesome too, right? I mean, I was using a lot of extra buffs. You can do all kinds of different team-ups with these characters, and there's plenty of characters that can do one-shots. I mean, some other honorable mentions uh, would be... Gambit, uh, he can definitely do it. Medusa can do it. Uh, I would imagine uh, maybe Black Bolt with enough Pierce and a CTP of Rage. I mean, there's lots of characters that actually can do one-shots if you have enough Pierce on your account. I mean, maybe even Iron Man. I don't really know. Maybe Iron Man. Maybe after this video, I'll try and see if Iron Man can do this. Do a one-shot. But the thing about Iron Man is you got to get his accumulation... Uh, from his tier 3, so you don't really get to use the tier 3 immediately because you got to build up to it. And the uniform effect, you know, increased damage dealt to enemies by 30% when HP is lower by 200%, right? So when their HP gets down to 30%, then they got this massive 200% buff. So I'm not really sure. I might have to test that in the future. But there's just lots of characters that can do this, and that's why GBR is pretty much just a joke any more and maybe even the maker in all honesty could do a one shot maybe scarlet witch could too i don't really know i haven't really tested them maybe mephisto i think once you start getting a certain amount of pierce on your account 
you'd probably be surprised you can actually do a one shot. So let me know how you're all feeling about these one shots. Let me know if you bought that pack and you got screwed out of your tier three selector. And I do stream on Twitch at Reset every day. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.